Hello and welcome to the new episode of Stump Muffin YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to see that images. Let's get dive into it. I'm going to go in here, menu size and go to manager. Okay, I'm going to model manager. And as you can see, we are seeing SD file over here. T A E SD or tiny autoencoder for stable diffusion is a lightweight implementation of an autoencoder designed for use with stable diffusion models. This, it, this autoencoder utilizes the same latent API as stable diffusions variational autoencoder which means we ae making it compatible and efficient for real-time previewing of the image generation process the main advantages of this tiny autoencoder for stable diffusions include its small size which allows for faster processing times its capability to enhance the previewing experience while working with stable diffusion particularly useful for users looking to achieve quick feedback during image generation this tiny autoencoder for stable diffusion can be integrated easily into workflows that employ stable diffusion by replacing the standard variational autoencoders with this more efficient version which means i have to download this decoder and encoder inside of the confi ui view the preview in high quality while while running samples in confi ui you will need this model when you run it so i just installed before in here and as you can see taesd decoder and also we have an encoder too and like that if you install in here like this and just close in here and like that i'm going to preview method on the left side to tesd or latent to rgb is a fast or non very fast i'm just using the taesd slow preview method and just close in here and let's just queue the prompt and also i'm expand this case sampler here too to better see this all of the images in k sampler let's have a look And as you can see, we just saw all of the process. And also, let's change the value of 20 and hit that OK button. And then cue the prompt again. And that's perfectly fine. And you can just see inside of the case sampler, actually, we are seeing the latent space. For example, like if you write the first value, in steps and Q, and as you can see in latent space just steps one and second steps goes actually like this but if you uh, want to see same type of images you have to control the generate noise fix it not randomize or increment or decrement okay just fix and just change the step for example like one and two and three and four and five you can see perfectly all of the steps actually so but this one is preview if you want to save all of the images to create an for example like animation let's have a do all of this step okay i'm going to right now in here the step one cfg is 7.5 euler keras and the denoise size in here like that and i'm going to create this all of the step and to see inside of the latent and also in case sampler we just sell that so to do that the firstly the seed in here fixed but we need to add steps i'm deleting this preview image to save image in here just use the save image in here just image to image in here and we just get to better in here like okay and now i'm going to confi ui inside of the output we see the before images right so inside in here i'm going to save right now all of my latent space images the firstly we need to add a steps one okay right now i'm just changing in here steps so i need to actually uh, make this steps one 
and let's just queue the prompt the first and second but before we do please just fix this case sampler okay to not get randomized and this one is two the three and this one is four and five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and 16 and 17 18 19 and like that let's add another one and as you can see it has to be it's actually changed right now and 23 24 and 26 27 28 29 and 30 31 and 32 33 and we see all of the process over here too so when i actually make this one and as you can see the process yep okay and as you can see in here it's perfectly fine 32 33 34 35 and like that so you can actually create like this kind of videos to see to show your work from another and like that so that we need to install in here manager the model manager when here tiny auto encoding for stable diffusion to view the preview in high quality while running samples in conf ui where you will need this one right uh, but this one is stable diffusion 1.x which means stable diffusion 1.5 1.6 or 1.2 1.1 you can see the all of the preview images inside of the latent space another one is sdxl which means if you have sdxl model unfortunately right now we have sd 1.5 so that this is not to our actually model fit and also this one is not fit to our model 2 and this one is not to model actually fit our model 2 because we have in here using just sd 1.x model to see that so it's like that and thank you for watching me and see you next time